Hello again, my friends. Well, it's a sad day for me. You know, my old Roland G600 gave up. The power supply, it's burnt, smells like shit. And you see, so far, after the first impression here, it's looking like the transformer, it's gone. And uh, I can tell you, it's a mess to try to recover this transformer. I'll try that. So this is the power supply board made by Cartis, Italy. Well, what can I say? It's an old guy, of course. This keyboard, it's up and running since 97. It's pretty tough, if I may say. We have a little bit of glue here just in case that I can't fix the transformer. I'll use a classic way to do the things because this keyboard needs a differential plus minus 15 volts and another plus five for the display and some other stuff. So, okay. And all I can say here, it's saying AC 100 to 240 volts input and only 12 watts of power look at this guy no it's it's very clear this is the problem you can see the plastic it's melted here the juice is out of this this is the board i can see very clear some melted plastic in this area evidently i will check for short you see right here we have two linear regulators let me see 7815 and i bet this guy here it's a 7915 these guys are regulating the 15 volts output that differential i've been talking about okay you should go out and here we have a plus 15 ground ground plus 5 plus 5 and plus 15 and minus 15 sorry let's check for these guys first any short no what about this ground no short here minus 15 no short 5 volts no short so nothing wrong here oh the mosfet here let's see everything is fine everything is fine of course the fuse it's burned no this is very very clear this is the problem anyway i can see this is melted for us for sure so i have my two power supplies that's a differential one and the other one for having five volts and i made all this connection down here and look there the machine it's working great do we have sound yes the piano it's working and the display it's responding you see down there that's really nice because i was circumspect you know well guys after one day of searching testing uh, doing all kind of mambo jumbo i uh, recoil the transformer somehow the power supply it's working but it's not delivering the current so i changed everything i checked everything i'm uh, overwhelmed that's it i have to give away this in the meantime because the keyboard takes only 12 watts doesn't need too much power so i'm gonna have a classic transformer rectifier filter you see i don't want to use any kind of uh, circuit you know for uh, for the power supply just a simple capacitor and uh, rectifier that should be a very simple task the keyboard needs 2 times 15 volts dc another one of 5 volts dc that's for leds and uh, floppy disk and blah 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 all the others so this one should be stronger but the total amount of power it's 12 watts nothing almost nothing the core here i'm coming with ac 230 here i'm gonna have a coil with a middle to ground and another coil for 5 volts let's say 5 volts ac here i have 15 and 15 ac of course the differential will be very simple 
rectifier plus and minus this one goes to one of the 15s another one 15s AC plus and minus and of course the other one goes to the ground a couple of electrolytics like this of course this goes to the ground and here I'm gonna have plus minus 15 volts DC the point is that I want to have all this stuff as simple as possible this transformer can deliver 40 watts 40 50 watts without a problem and here we have 14.6 volts in open 14.6 volts AC and the other one supposed to have 7 but gives me 8.1 8.0 volts and the other one 8 volts all right now I'm going to improvise a rectifier and uh, a capacitor of course and something in parallel with the output just to have an idea about uh, voltages okay so remember that we had 14.6 in open I should have a resistor of some sort I mean this is to how can I say to simulate a kind of uh, electronic device if we consider 400 and let's say 0 0.5 we should have around 100 milliamps or something perfect we came from 14.6 volts let's see how much do we have now in uh, DC of course 18.90 volts and let's do a little mathematics here if we have 14.6 going to 19.1 to have exactly 15 volts we need 15 volts now here we have an X an X it's 14.6 times 15 divided by 19.1 so I need around 11.46 volts AC well I'm doing all this because I have to open this transformer and rewind the secondary for my needs okay what's nice about this kind of transformers they are very nice to be redone it's amazing easy to do all this mambo jumbo you see it's very easy to dismantle it we still have the oil inside the coils this is the primary let's take this out I don't want to waste this I'm going to use it back so the 7 volts one is the first coil I have to dismantle of course I will reuse the wire again I use this machine because it makes everything so easy and nice so that's supposed to be the 7 volts one so we already have around 41 rounds and there we go Five, maybe 76 like 76 rounds. now let's do some mathematics 76 14.6 volts AC we have 76 and the other one it was 8 volts with 41 let's see how many turns we need per volt in this case like 5.2 turns per volt AC my situation when you had 14.6 we got 19.1 volts after rectifier on the filtering and to have 15 volts we need 11.46 and if we multiply this with 5.2 I'm gonna have 59.6 turns for 15 volts DC okay now let's see if my mathematics are correct okay so this is the first four two times 
15 volts. Okay, 20. And there we go, the final round. Nice. Yes, this one will come later with the case, but for now it's okay. Well, let's start having some tests. Let's see, AC, we have like 4.2 volts and DC, 4.66, okay, that's enough. That should be fine. What about these guys? 11.6, yes, exactly, exactly by the numbers I've been figuring. 4.6, well, it could be better to have a little bit more. Okay, we'll see about that. The true is this kind of transformer, it's like I said before, it's very nice and easy to work with. So, well, uh, I think it's done for now. You see, this is the transformer and here I have the output going to, obviously to the keyboard. I think it's time to have a test. Let's see if it's working. Okay. Here I have the transformer ready to go. All the wires are put in together. All the wires are in the right positioning. Here I have the connector. So remember, this is just a simple transformer with uh, the right amount of turns in the coils, specifically done for having the right voltage okay ready let's power on i have a mirror here i can see the display down there and power on <laughs> and it's working unbelievable unbelievable look here look it's working everything is fine we should have sound of course so this was my adventure with uh, fixing a switching power supply for roland g600 g800 also like i said uh, i hate working switching power supplies main voltage it's always in and uh, don't forget to use a bulb in series with the input here because uh, in case of something wrong happens the bulb will take all the load and uh, avoid any accidents and incidents all right you know switching power supply they are so temperamental i may say imprevisible um, it, it's hard to say what is wrong here you know i put new coils on the transformer, change the MOSFET, change the regulators. Uh, there was another issue with one of these resistors. And, you know, I changed everything possible. It took me two days, you know, to do that, but it's not working. It's delivering 15 volts, but I don't have enough juice. You know, I don't have power. Okay. But in the meantime, you know, the classic transformer, if you pay attention and uh, if you have the right numbers of coils the of turns in the coils then you have exactly the voltage you need so you don't need any regulator uh, you'll say that uh, the voltage will go up and down no because the mains are absolutely steady so uh, even if we have a half a volt you know uh, in and out uh, from the transformer that doesn't really matter, you know, the machine is working anyway. 
So consider that from the power supply to the CPU uh, memories, and there are a lot of other power regulators and power sources, and uh, you know, it, it doesn't really depend of the the you know the 15 volts or 5 volts or something delivered by the power supply itself. There are a lot of other regulators in the chain. Okay, for now the project is. I mean. For now, I'm happy the keyboard is back on track. So, all I can say, keep it simple. <laughs> Just keep it simple. And this is the most important thing. Make the things running again. Doesn't matter how. Well, that's it for today. I hope uh, it's useful. Like always, please like and please subscribe. It really helps me to keep the channel going. And the uh, most important thing is be creative find solutions and of course i almost forget about have fun bye bye